Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the best performance out of your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra by simply tweaking a few settings. So, of course, you want to go to your settings, and I do want to let you know battery life is not a huge concern with the S23 Ultra because it has been improved greatly. So it is perfectly fine to run this phone at maximum performance without worrying too much about the battery. So once you go to the settings, what you want to do is you want to scroll down and go into battery and device care. Then you want to tap on battery right here and you want to scroll down and go to more battery settings. So once you're here, what you have here is the performance profile. This allows you to make the phone run faster or run slower, giving you longer battery life. So tap on it. You can see we have the light mode. Now this is going to give priority to the battery life and the cooling efficiency of the phone. So if the phone gets too hot or if the battery is being consumed too fast, it is going to lower the performance. You don't want that. What you want is you want the maximum performance from this beast. So tap on standard. This is still going to give you a balanced performance, but it's going to prioritize performance over everything else. That's the first thing you want to do. Now, I want to let you know these two settings here do not apply when you are playing a game. If you want to boost the performance of gaming, I'm going to show you what to do in a second. So this is the first thing you want to do. By the way, if you're looking to buy the S23 Ultra, links to buy it at the lowest pricing and the best incentives is going to be down below. The next thing you want to do is just make sure fast charging and fast wireless charging are enabled. That's also part of performance in my book. A phone that can charge fast is a better performing phone. When you disable these, it's just going to charge slowly or if they come disabled, it's just going to charge slowly and you're not getting the best charging performance. So make sure these are enabled as well. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go back to the main menu of device care. And this is very important. Scroll down and make sure auto optimization is in fact turned on. It basically tells you why that's a good thing right here. It says restart your phone when it is necessary to keep the phone in its best condition. So enable this and pay attention, it says automatic restarts will only happen when you're not using your phone. So you don't have to worry about you getting a random restart when you're actually playing a game or talking on the phone. This will happen most of the time when you're asleep. The phone will just know. So that's that. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys real quick, just to have it handy. When you pull down the notifications panel, that same performance profile that we just looked at under device care is also available here. You can toggle it on and off. You're not going to see this right away. So what you want to do is you want to tap this button. You want to tap on edit buttons. It's going to be somewhere on the top right here. And then all you want to do is you want to grab it and you want to dump it into the active area. And in my case, you can see I put it all the way on the top left. So you can grab anything from here and put it to the top left if that's what you want. Okay, then click on done and that's going to be right there. When you tap on this, it activates the light mode. When you tap it again, it goes back to the better, faster mode. In fact, if you click on the text, it'll tell you what mode it is on. Light, standard. If I enable this, tap the text, it says light. So we want to keep it at standard by unchecking this toggle. So that's that. Now let me show you what to do if you want maximum performance while you are gaming. So for that, you have to go to the game launcher. As you download and install games, they're going to show up under the game launcher. Uh, right now, I have not set up this phone just yet, but when I do install games, they're going to appear right here. So what you want to do to boost performance is you want to tap on more at the bottom, go to the settings. Actually, my bad. Don't go here. Tap this button and go into the game booster right here. That's going to give you a bunch of options. What you want to do is scroll down and go to game optimization and simply choose performance. You have the option to do battery saver and standard. That is going to reduce the performance of the game you're playing if you are a gamer. So with this one, I always keep this at maximum performance because when you're playing a game, you want the maximum quality. And please do not enable this. This is going to lower 
the refresh rate of your screen to 48 hertz and that's going to make that game look choppy if you are used to higher refresh rates all right so that's basically all you need to do to make sure the phone runs at maximum speed remains optimized in the best condition and get the best performance for games any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day